We're going to actually start off with things in the tropics. We have Tropical Storm Ida, sustained wind speeds of about 60 miles per hour, seeing heavy rainfall throughout the area and a tornado watch actually issued for eastern Louisiana extending into Mississippi uh, because once these systems really make landfall, you see a difference within the winds of the upper levels and as well as the lower levels of the system, which will create that rotation. So that's why you see those tornado watches oftentimes issued with these tropical systems. Now, this is a tropical storm. It's going to actually move and looks like we're going to actually see the impacts of Ida for the middle to end of this week. But Ida, even as a subtropical depression later in the later or say later today it'll reach that status right now it's a tropical storm uh, but it will even pack a really good punch as you see rainfall totals are going to stay close to double digits for Louisiana and, and Mississippi but even as it tracks northward seeing rainfall totals close to seven to even ten inches of rainfall as for central Virginia we're in that one to three to four inch range with Ida in addition to that, flash flood watches have been extended all the way northward into West Virginia. We'll likely see some flash flood watches issued for us as the Ida inches closer towards the region. Here we have a tropical storm warning issued uh, for persons of Mississippi. And that's really about it in terms of the information I have right now for Ida. Bringing it back home, we're sitting in the 70s early this morning. High temperatures will be in the lower 90s this afternoon. We do have a chance of seeing a few isolated strong uh, storms. We're not tracking anything severe for this afternoon. they will be between 3 to 9 o'clock. And then overnight lows are going to be in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Finally breaking out of this hot, humid trend by the middle to end of this week. Reba.